What's going on ladies and gents, welcome back to the TOA guide where I'll be explaining to you what to do throughout the Tomb of a Musket. We are now at the Baba Room as we are headed into the final phase nearly of this guide. So if you like this and this was very helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave down comments down what you like and like this video. Now with that being said, let's instantly swap to our gear so you need because you need to do a big puzzle room i'm going to be explaining the puzzle room as we go but before we start make sure to click on your crystal top your ancestral bottom you get your missouri assembler and equip your cult necklace this is your hybrid setup as you're going to be using it and now the next thing is that your weapons will be a bit close to each other i like to have them over there so that the bank the bank the inventory is not too messed up you only have to use these two anyway. Let's go in and explain the rest. So when you get in here, you want to grab a potion. Usually I do it in the map already, but we're not going to do that yet. If you got the TOA plugin, you'll get uh, up Mekin waves opening up on your sidebar. It shows how many, uh, how many things are spawning. So let's quickly explain. We got the, the red monkeys, which are melee based. You'll have to attack them with your mage weapon. So we're going to swap to our shadow. You'll have the green ones, which are ranged. You have to kill them with melee. And the blue ones, who are mage, kill them with range. I'll be showing the picture in, in the screen, of course, as well. Now, there are some special ones as well. We've got the shamans, who will spawn small monkeys who will drain your prayer. You have to kill them. Those are your absolute priority. Then you have volatiles, which are gray, brownish. They'll walk up to you and explode. So you want to attack them by walking up to them and then running away. I'll show you what happens in the game. And then the last one are the cursed baboons. They will run around the room and paint the entire floor with venom. You want to freeze those. Just freeze them and then deal with them later. All right. After that, you will walk in, right? This like this we're talking about the, the puzzle right now. You will get the... Yeah, the monkey head above your head, the red one. They will also appear over the vents and over the roof supports. If you're multiple people, you can also have your friends turn red. What you want to do is go to this side and call it the DD spot. People walk up there and you can drop this uh, the, the potion and everyone's fine. So if the vents happen, you call out vents in multiple uh, people occasion. You walk up there, throw the potion down. If the pillars are active, you scream pillars and then people have to repair the pillars. If you're by yourself, it's only one, two people, you have to repair two, three, and etc. Yeah, et uh, up to four, it's not like eight people have to do more. But yeah, it's a lot of information. Let's just show you how to do it and then you will be able to watch this every time you need it. So yeah, here we go. You see the monkey head on my head? It means that I am the only one to see this, but yeah, I'm the only one in the room, so it's fine. Melee monkeys are going to spawn. You're going to be hitting them. Nothing too crazy here. Swap to your Osmompton's Fang just to be safe, I guess. There you go. You get the monkey over here. Click on pour potion. You throw it in. Run up to the range. Stab him. Protect from magic. And then shoot them down. Now, we will get a shaman and two brawlers. So you want to run up to the shaman. Protect from ma mage for start. But when the small one starts, you protect from melee. Because these guys, these guys will uh, actually drain your prayer if they hit you. So yeah, we're not a fan of that. Alright. Vents once again. There is the volatile baboon. So what you simply do is walk up to them and run away. They will explode. And yeah, they will just deal damage. Cursed baboon in the corner. Freeze. Kill these mages and then when you kill those you will finish off this baboon you can also use your blood for spells on them if you want to get some extra hp volley behind me repair the pillars freeze this guy actually nearly killed him with that that's great yeah fin finish him off oh there's another one over there on that side didn't even see him Another volley over here, and a mage baboon. So yeah, step up to this guy. Killers. Freeze him, just make sure to freeze him. So most people say focus the shaman, 
but in my opinion, I have to kill anything else what deals damage different than melee. Because then you can just pray melee. You can get your HP back, right? Getting HP back is easier than prayer points. Yeah, you can just use your blood spells and you're done. So yeah, rather kill anything else that doesn't deal melee damage. Than, uh, yeah, than losing your prayer points. Just make sure you freeze these guys. Alright, next room. There we go. So, just the same stuff. You attack this guy. Take from melee still. Oh, I walked in it. Well, we have a sand view, so we're going to use one dose of sand view. The, the poison will go away after um, after this room is completed. So it's not a big problem. And this is the whole reason we brought the sand view. It barely happens, but if it happens, then yeah, you better be safe than sorry. There's a volley standing behind there. So yeah, it's good that he's still there. There's one joining me as well now. This is the final phase, so there will be two volleys. Uh, am I saying this correctly? No, it's not the final phase. We've got one more to go. Fence. Oh man, maybe it is. Look, there he is. Alright, finish this guy off, and then you completed this room. This is by far the most chaotic room. But once you've done it a few times, you're gonna be so fine. Alright, swap back to your melee gear. Baba is interesting. Make sure to mark these tiles on the side if you use these invocations. Because if the mind the gap is on, then you get shot back here and you die. Don't want to do that. Absolutely not. So you want to stay behind those on the left side and the right side. Alright. Um, he will, you will walk up to him. I will not reach the time. Yeah, I guess that's the part of the guide, I guess. Um, you'll have to melee him. You walk in there with your spec. Spec him. And then you will just switch back to your Osmontus Fang and start fanging him out. He will shoot boulders from the sky. You need to evade those. Two boulders will be spawning on the battlefield. He will throw a rock at you. But to get minimum damage, you need to stand next to one of those rocks. If you're not near one of those rocks, you can go to a Sacrophag and just uh, yeah, hit it on there. But what will happen is that those sacrophages will open up. And if they open up, they will shoot red stones. And those stones deal damage. So you don't want to do that. In the middle of the fight, there can be small monkeys spawning. They do range attack. You want to kill them. Uh, because if they stay alive, they will open the sacrophages as well. And that way uh, you will get more damage. So you want to kill them. And then once Baba is on 62%, he will shoot you down, so you want to be careful to stay on the other sides of the, on the outer sides of the tiles. And he will shoot you down, and then balls will spawn on the ground. The one that is a little bit odd colored is the one that needs to be damaged to walk through with ranged. Once you get through him, you need to melee him, and then it will reset. That's simple as it goes. He will also make a shockwave. He will uh, stand still, look at you, and a cross will go under the ground. Um, you'll just have to evade it. It's pretty simple. Let's just show you how to do it and then we're good. Eat the smelling salts, walk in, use your spec, protect from melee, always protect from melee and spec him. It's 31 so it's basically the maximum. You want to damage him now, you can use your fang specs if you want. You can also save your specs for your carriers of the sun if you want to. Here comes the rocks, evade them. You see your big rubble, you need to stand next to the rubble. Diagonal tiles also fine. Here comes the boulder. You will get less damage. There's the shockwave. Evade it. Don't stand in there. The small monkeys. Kill them. Oh, this dangerous area. If you walk under him, he will also do a shockwave. So it's a little bit dangerous. Alright, there you go. Monkey's dead. They will drop bananas. So you don't want to stand on there. You will get stunned. Another shockwave. Hello, are you crazy? But yeah, we just keep hitting him. Another boulder coming our way. Alright. 66% it was, I'm sorry. Use your piety. Get your blowpipe out. And this is the odd colored one. Hit him once. Same goes for this one. And then walk through. 
Now, if you're not comfortable with that just yet, use three turns. It works just fine. But two turns will be the norm at some point. But yeah, here we go again. It's just rinse and repeat at this point. Make sure to keep your restore up. Because he will deal damage with the sacrifice attack based on your uh, your prayer points. So yeah, keep hitting him. The boulder will come our way now. And then right after that, he will instantly throw more. So you need to figure out where those boulders are. Now we see one on the bottom, but I run this way now anyway. You hit him. And then I should have him before time, right? Like he needs one more hit. Yeah, okay, there we go. We get shot back to the floor. He does this twice, obviously. Gonna throw rubble at us. Swap. Hit the boulder. Hit the boulder again, and then walk through. If you see the XP drop, you can already go through. Don't do it with a Bofa, though. Bofa will take one tick longer. You can tick it if, you, if you're good at that, but just make sure you're careful with that. All right, here comes the shockwave. We hit him again. Keep hitting him until he's zero HP, of course. This is the moment where you just use your specs. Unless you don't have any bruise left, then you're not going to do that, obviously. Oh, this is a dangerous one. He can do that as well. There's monkey spawning, but just ignore them. What the hell? He was dead. Okay. Well, that was that. It's actually a super simple fight. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. If you did, uh, make sure to let me know what you like about this. And then I'll see you guys for the last one. We're going to go to the Wardens. Enjoy your day.